Yes, you've caused a lot of trouble in prison. I can see that by your record. Mm -hmm. And there's not a lot to be said to you. He said, but now you're in this prison. Again, he was saying that to me. This is my kind of prison. He said, we don't let people escape. There's been no escapes here for a long, long time. And we're going to make sure you don't escape. And I have a rush them. Yeah? He said, because you'll be watched here equally as well as you will watch everywhere else. Yeah? And all this. And if we have any trouble of you, or any nonsense at all, you're going to lose some more remission. So, have you anything to say? I said, yeah, so I've got to say, you know. I said, like, um, well, for one thing, I said, like, I don't think I've much remission to lose, you know. So he said, leave a little bit here. I said, well, you can have it anyhow, Governor, you know. I said, because I don't give a fuck. He said, well, you can stop swearing anyhow, for starters. I said, well, what are you going to do, take some remission off me? He said, no, we're not going to take some remission off you. He said, we're going to lock you up by yourself. I said, well, I'm always locked up by myself. Don't make any difference to me, you know. He said, it will do when you see these punishment plots. I said, if it's any more, if it's any worse than Dartmoor, well, that's a credit to you for imagination and all that, you know. I said, it takes people like you years and years to create that kind of atmosphere, you know, degrading and where you can put people in dungeons and stuff like that. Oh, get him out, he said. And while you're out there, you've got 14 days solitary confinement, he said. Thank you, I said. That was great.